Hey, I'm Cece Summers and welcome to Dead Wishes. Go ahead and get yourself a snack, strap in, get comfortable because this is, this one's gonna take a while. There are 12 characters that we can interact with and very, very few of them are nice. So let's see what kind of shenanigans we can get into. Tell me your name. It is not Dante. I want to know more about you, sweetie. You won't fault me for that, will you? Depends on what you're doing with this information. When dealing with interpersonal conflict, do you value aggression or sensitivity? Sensitivity. Do you prefer to talk or listen in group setting? Listen. Are you competitive or collaborative when working with others? When working with others, I'm collaborative. I am very competitive though. Are you more concerned with understanding the process of something or simply finishing the task? I don't really care about the process. <laughs> In a relationship, are you dominant or submissive? equal partnership, I guess. <laughs> Do you base decisions on feelings or logic? I'd say I base more of my decisions on feelings. Are you compassionate or detached when dealing with others' conflict? I'd say I'm pretty compassionate. Do you prefer to be blunt or tactful? It depends on the situation. If I've told you a couple times, <laughs> or I feel like you're not in a mind space where I can get away with being tactful, I'll be blunt. And I'll tell you straight up. But most of the time I feel like I can, I approach things tactfully. Do you prefer to teach others or to learn as a group? Um, I prefer to teach other people because it helps me learn. I need to watch someone else do it and then do it myself several times, like with an example, and then teach it to somebody else. And then it's set in my head. <laughs> I see. So that's who you are. Somehow it's not what I expected, but I do enjoy surprises. I know I come off as a super aggressive, non-compassionate dickhole of a person. <laughs> Ugh. I slept horribly again. What day is it again? Lately, I haven't been keeping track of the days. Is rent due? And the landlady reminded me that I still owe her for last month. Shit, I still haven't found a job. I hope there's enough money in my account for the month. Is there any food in the fridge? I went grocery shopping a few weeks ago, but I suppose it's all ruined by now. Delivery for dinner once again. I roll around in bed, trying to decide if I should get up or go back to sleep. I'm hungry, but it's so much effort to get up and cook. I could just go back to sleep. When I wake up, I won't be hungry anymore. Sleep overtakes me for a short while until there's a knock at the door. Seriously? I'm sleeping, asshole. I rub my eyes and reach for my phone. The front display's clock shows that it's late in the afternoon. How dare they be knocking on my door at 3 o'clock in the afternoon? <laughs> I guess normal people are up by now. I don't want to get up, but the person at my door isn't going away. It's probably the landlady. I roll out of bed. I check my phone and pull out my bank account. To my horror, I see that my balance isn't nearly enough to cover the rent. Fuck. When did it get this low? I could have sworn I had a few hundred dollars left. The knocks won't stop. When, when I have somebody knocking on my door and I know that they are just trying to like sell me something, I will ignore them. The thing is, <laughs> my front door is like two thirds glass. So you can see inside. And where I sit on the couch, you can see me through the front door. So very often, 
me and the person that's knocking on my door will just be looking at each other. I'm just waiting for them to go away. <laughs> go away. If I ignore the knocking, I guess they'll give up. I don't want to talk to anyone right now. And I don't have money to pay the landlady. I don't really want to say that to her face. Do we have a peephole? I should at least check who it is. If it's the landlady, I can just pretend to not be home. The bed rustles as I get up and make my way to the peephole in the door. As I suspected, the landlady is waiting. Yeah, I'm not opening that door. She'll have to leave eventually. I hope she didn't hear my footsteps. Even though the knocking has stopped, the landlady won't leave. Guess they're not here. Too bad. I stand at the door until she leaves. Whew, buy myself some time, I guess. I'll deal with her later. For now, I should probably get something to eat. A few hours pass without incident. However, it isn't long before the knocking resumes. Hmm, is the landlady back? I still can't pay the rent, but if she's this adamant, it's time to bite the bullet. The knocking continues and I peer through the peephole. Expecting my landlady, I'm surprised to see a young man with a ponytail. Who the hell is this guy? Never seen him before. He's carrying some kind of clipboard. A petition, maybe? Well, he isn't the landlady, and he doesn't look dangerous. Not a good basis of trusting people. <laughs> Reluctantly, I open the door. Um... Good morning. I'm sorry for disturbing you. Are you trying to sell me something? I don't have any money. I'm not interested. Have a nice day, sir. I try to close the door, but the man jams his foot in the way. Get your dirty little feet out from my fucking door. No, sir. Mm-mm. No, no, no. Auto automatic. Automatically do not like this man. Mm-mm. For a split second, his face flashes with a fearsome expression. Yeah, you came on a little strong there, sir. Calm it down. <laughs> but it's gone in another second. Did I just imagine that? I'm not selling anything. I know you've got money problems. That's why I'm here. What? I'm not sure about this guy. Right. Did my landlady send you? Yep. Yeah, you've racked up quite a debt. Sucks, huh? The guy gives me a sheepish smile, pushes me aside, and walks into my apartment, uninvited. He glances around the room and shakes his head. Get the fuck out of my apartment! Um... Figures. There's nothing of value here after all. Guess that's what we should expect. Sorry? I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> I'm here to collect what you owe, repossess your stuff and whatnot. You don't initially own my stuff. I didn't buy my stuff from you, so you can't just repossess it. You need to possess it in the first place. Oh shit. He's a repo man? I didn't think the landlady would resort to something like this. He can't just barge in here and take my stuff. I'm already down to the bare essentials. Again. He cannot take my items unless I purchase them from the landlady. If I did not purchase them from the landlady, he has no right to repossess my things. Ugh. I really hate this job. No, you don't. No, you don't. I don't have any money. Please don't take anything. This is all I have. What? You sure? Really, really sure? No jewelry, silverware, antique china, nothing hidden away? No, of course not. I liquidated the estate before moving city, so even if I once had such items, they're long gone. Everything is gone. The man doesn't speak for a while. He seems to be mulling over something. I don't want to just tell him to get out, but I have a bad feeling about this. Me too. Listen, I'm really trying to repay the debt. You have to believe me. <laughs> I've only heard that a million times. Get out of my apartment. <laughs> I know it's rough. Life is rough. I'm just doing my job. Um sucks that I'll have to get creative. If anything, there's always one thing we can take. The fuck does that mean? Uh, 
I don't like this. He turns to look at me, his eyes glinting. Not good. Time to get out of here. I try to back away, but my back collides with the wall. Hey, hey! There's no need to get yourself in a tizzy. Sure, sure there isn't. But... <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. I'm not going to take any of your stuff. I'll leave it right where it is. That doesn't make me feel any better. You're mine. That is why it didn't make me feel better. You, on the other hand, are coming with me. Don't tell me he's going to sell me off to someone. I don't waste time wondering about this. Adrenaline shoots through my limbs and I jump. I turn around and run, but the man is much faster than me. He reaches me before I can grab the door knob and run out into the hallway. Oh, no you don't. You're a quick one, huh? Come on, there's no worries. No worries. His arm tightens around my front and pulls me back. I struggle in his grasp until we fall to the floor. That wasn't very nice. Well, get the fuck off me! <laughs> I don't want to get nasty with you. It's such a chore. If you come quietly, it'll be easier. Will not be happening. Come quietly, like hell I will. I throw a punch his way and my fist collides with his shoulder. Oh, no you don't. Hey, stop it. I'm not going anywhere with you. The man sighs and pushes down on my torso, forcing me against the floor. I can't move. <laughs> I gave you plenty of warning, okay? So don't be mad about this. I will absolutely be mad about this. Mad? I'm already mad. I try to score him out of his grasp, and he sits on my chest, pinning me to the floor. He delivers a swift punch to the gut, knocking the air out of me and sending me reeling. In the time it takes to recover, the man wrestles me down and restrains my hands. Black fabric covers my eyes. You can't run away. I told you, didn't I? I warned you. God, this game is starting off strong, isn't it? He pulls me out the door and drags me down the hallway. I can't see a thing, but it feels as if we're entering the parking garage. He pushes me into the car and closes the door. The door opens once again, and he sits down in the driver's seat. <laughs> All set? Buckle up for the ride. Okay. I want to point out that my hands are tied, but it's likely a bad idea. I make a non-committal grunt, and he is satisfied. Cool, let's get this show on the road. I'm Mateo, by the way. Sorry we had to meet like this. You seem really nice. I'm sure you're very sorry. The car starts, and I keep quiet. We drive for a while, and Mateo begins to mess with the radio. He hums along with the music. Um... Do you like this station? What kind of music do you like? The car makes a few turns. Diffused light peeks through the back fabric covering my eyes. I think it's supposed to say black. The vehicle makes another sharp turn and stops. Nice! Okie doke, we're here! Yay! Here? Where? I still can't see a thing, and Mateo takes his time getting me out of the car. Watch your step, there's a puddle over there. Okay. It's awfully nice of him to be considerate of my shoes. Too bad he didn't feel the same when he punched me in the stomach. We enter a building. The floor underneath my feet echoes with our footsteps. Yep. Right this way, we're almost there. His arms are at the small of my back, leading me as we walk. I can hear faint voices that grow steadily louder as we progress. He turns me into a room. A bright light rushes through the black fabric. <laughs> hey boss, I brought you a present. Mateo's voice is overly cheery, and it rings throughout the room. I smell cigarettes and alcohol. Huh? Who the fuck's that? <laughs> Obviously it was super important to kidnap me, specifically. <laughs> you know, the repo job. Yeah, I know what you were doing, asshole. I asked who's this. Where's the shit? Um... They didn't really have anything. I brought this person instead. Idiot! What the fuck, Mateo? That wasn't the plan. The bag is ripped off my head. A rough-looking man stands before me, holding a lit cigarette and a glass of amber liquid. If that wasn't the plan, why did he bring this shit to kidnap me in the first place? Like, I feel like it was just his plan to kidnap me all along. Considering the guy's colorful language, I was stealing myself to meet an angry asshole. Instead, 
I met an angry asshole. Uh... Mateo, you dumbass. We don't have time to babysit. What? No, no, they could work for us. What do you think? You should be happy. I did us a favor. Okay. They could have said, hey, we know you're behind on rent. We have a way that you could pay that without giving us money. You can come and work for us and do certain things. And then as time goes on, make it shadier and shadier because obviously they're gonna ask me to do shady shit. But I would have been so much more like, yeah, let's do it. But you kidnapped me and now I want nothing to do with this situation at all. Idiot. You idiot. You stepped in a pile for us. That's what you did. You should have followed orders. You want me to have someone teach you a lesson? You want to get whacked? Huh? Do ya? Mateo shrinks at this comment. Yeah. Didn't think so. What a tough guy. You know better than to act out on your own, asshole. Follow the fucking rules, got it? Um... Yeah. I didn't need an answer. I know that you're gonna listen. Or else. <laughs> Fucking got a badass over here. <laughs> this guy is definitely trouble. I'd rather talk to Mateo than this asshole. He's a damn hothead. I don't know, at least he's straightforward. At least he's straightforward. Like, he's gonna tell you what he's gonna do. And he'll leave you alone. Mateo's fucking crazy. <laughs> I don't trust Mateo. I don't trust his emotions. I don't trust anything that he has going on. You. What's your name? I'll tell him. I, I am bound. I don't want to push it yet. It's Cece. <laughs> Cece, you're in some deep shit. Excuse me. Sergio, I'll deal with this for you. I can determine whether or not this person will be a waste of our time. I'll take care of them if they won't be useful. Take care- what do you mean take care of them? You're just gonna kill me because I'm behind on rent? I didn't notice the woman before, as she was standing by the door. She's very tall, with lovely short hair and a severe face. I love that we described her hair that way. Lovely short hair. I note the gun holster on her hip. Taking care of me likely won't involve cookies and milk. Nah. Don't worry about that. I'll look into it. I'm gonna fuck this up. Ira? Ira. I'm gonna go with Ira? And then just yell at me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Mateo, go back to the casino. Someone was trying to be clever and count cards at the blackjack tables. Give him a piece of our mind before it gets out of hand. Yes, sir. Mateo turns to leave and suddenly turns around and waves to me. <laughs> See you later, Cece. Is this asshole serious? He beats me, throws me in his car, and now he's acting like we're best friends? I don't bother replying to Mateo. My jaw sets into a hard line. <laughs> Ira, make sure he doesn't get any more clever ideas. Yes. Understood. You can take care of him if he wants to get smart with us. This one here won't be a problem. Nope, I... never a problem. Never a problem. <laughs> Ain't that right, Cece? Oh yeah. I... yes. Rule follower number one right here. I think we start pushing buttons now. I do what I want. Do you want to die? What do you expect me to say when you drag me here as a hostage? <laughs> Go on, Ira. We'll be fine. They don't want to cross me. He's a cool guy. If there's any problem, I can handle it. This guy's a beanpole. I can take him. Yes. Very well. I'll deliver a report later. With that, the woman exits, and the man takes a sip of his drink. I take a moment to look around the room. It appears to be a lounge of some sort, with pristine furniture and a fully stocked bar. Once the door closes, the man's tense features relax. Hey, Cupcake. Sorry about that, Cupcake. Come on, 
You're not too spooked, are you? No, not at all. Okay, I need, I need, what's with the name? What's with that nickname? Huh? It's cute, right? No, not really. Huh? What? Come on, makes your heart beat fast and shit like that, right? I was just kidnapped, sir, and you're part of the organization that kidnapped me, so, no. Damn, I thought you'd eat that shit up. I don't respond, but confusion mars my features. The man puts out his cigarette and places his drink on a table. Loosen up. His eyes flick down to my hands, still bound. Oi! Shit, I guess you really can't loosen up, huh? Where are my manners? Come here, I'll get your hands untied. Oh, thanks. What is going on with this face? I don't move from my position. Come on. Damn, cupcake, I won't bite. Why you have shark teeth. Wary, I scoot closer so that he can reach the rope around my hands. When he unties it, he's surprisingly gentle. My wrists are rubbed raw. The man's eyes slide over the irritated skin. S sorry. Sorry. I'll get something for that later. Are you sorry, though? Huh? Quit acting so tough. You're not here to impress me. No, I shouldn't be here at all. It's my fault in the first place. That asshole is one of my men, so whatever shit he pulls is on me. I guess. When Mateo first kidnapped me, I was sure that something terrible was going to happen. Then I met this asshole with an attitude, and I thought he would shoot me or sell my body. So far, this man has been... Even if he initially seemed harsh, he isn't giving me any reason to be spiteful. Other than the fact that he doesn't just go, hey, sorry, go home. Instead, he's going to estimate our value and see if we're worth keeping around. And if not, he's gonna take care of us. But I have no reason to be spiteful. <laughs> I'd go so far as to say he's being kind. He even apologized for what happened. What the hell? Who is this guy? Hey, Cupcake. Sit back and relax. Make yourself comfortable. I'm still wary of the man, but he isn't as terrible as I imagined. Yet. Yet. Come on, I just want to get to know you. Who are you, anyway? Oi! Shit, I really have forgotten my manners. Should have introduced all of us properly. You met Mateo and Ira. Sorry about the hostile reception. We've got shit to do and we're gonna get it done. Circumstances fucking suck. <laughs> I'm Sergio. Sergio Drucci? Mateo and Ira work for me. Would have been nice to meet in a different situation, you know? What kind of workplace is this? Kidnapping people and dragging them around the city? And now he's... Is he flirting with me? So you're their boss? Yeah. They defer to me for the important shit. Important shit? Mateo nearly broke down my door and dragged me out of my building. <sighs> Relax, Cupcake. We didn't do any lasting damage. I didn't tell him to do all of that. He's a dumbass on his own. Okay, well, he still did it. I, I feel like my debts should be forgiven at this point. <laughs> He'll get a punishment for misbehaving, don't you worry. That's not comforting to me, because it doesn't involve me. <laughs> we run an organized crime syndicate. Know what that means? It's a bunch of big words. For all I know, you could be a stupid little cupcake. Listen, I don't want to know anything about anything you've got going on. The less I know, the more I could just pretend like this didn't happen. <laughs> like, I swear I'm not going to go to the police. Just, you know, we're even. Even Stevens. I didn't pay you rent. You beat me up and kidnapped me. We're good. We're good now. <laughs> I am not stupid. And I'm definitely not a little cupcake. You're talking about something like a street gang, right? Nah. Think bigger. Gambling, debt collection, all that shit. Bigger. The Mafia? Yeah. Something like that. A couple of us just like to say we're professional hustlers. I stare at the man, unable to form any coherent words. He laughs at my expression. Come on. Are you really surprised, Cupcake? Dragging you down here, talking about big bucks that you owe us? 
worse than I thought. There's no telling what they'll do. I had no idea that my landlady knew these kinds of people. I've never tangled with guys like this, and for good reason. I've seen the TV shows and movies. They're ruthless. Hell no. I need to get out of here. What do you want from me? I don't have any money. Gotcha. Your landlady owes us, Cupcake. Can't ignore that. That's her problem, not mine. I don't have anything to give you. I don't even have a job. It's because of you she's in debt. You shouldn't mooch off people. Not mooching. Just... Repaying at a later date. I can't do anything about it. I'm sorry. <sighs> That's a problem. No job, no investments. Shit, Cupcake. Yeah. I'll think of something. You've got jobs. You ever worked in a casino? No, I don't gamble. Ever dealt cards at a party? No, I don't really go to parties. <laughs> Shit, Cupcake, what are we supposed to do with you? I mean, I could still do it, you just gotta teach me. He takes a drag from his cigarette. Hey, Cupcake. Don't you want a job? I'm basically laying it in your lap. I mean, honestly, though. Take the job. I want to get mad at him for kidnapping me and dragging me here. It's not even my fault that the landlady owes him money. Well, it's somewhat my fault. And this guy is too nice to snap at. Strangely nice. Shouldn't he beat my face in or something? Break my kneecaps? Bust a couple fingers? <laughs> my eyes rake over the man's expression. It doesn't look like he's going to hurt me, but I'm not stupid enough to test it. Look where trust got me so far. Stupid old bat of a landlady. I don't really have a choice at this point. I'm not going to push my luck. Should I take the job? Sure! Let's, let's get a job, pay off our debt, never speak of this again. <laughs> I'll take the job. All right. <laughs> you sure? You're up for it? I can do it. Yeah, just teach me what I have to do and I'll do it. Sergio grins at me and takes a swig of his drink. Well, look at you. <laughs> You're a fucking dream. Oh. Thanks. Now that's what I'm talking about, Cupcake. Stepping up. I think you and me are gonna be fast friends. I don't know about that, Sergio. You're going a little faster. We'll set you up as a dealer from some of our low-stakes tables. Sergio opens his mouth to speak just as a man bursts into the room unannounced. That doesn't sound like it's gonna end well. Sir, there's a problem at the blackjack tables. This is enough to spark Sergio's temper, and I'm shocked at the change that overcomes his features. Idiot! Didn't I tell you all to handle it? Where's Mateo? What the fuck are you all doing? Fingering each other's assholes? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Finger in each other's assholes. Did I fucking say you could come in? The fuck are you thinking? Sergio glowers at the mafioso. He stomps over to the door, his voice low and dangerous. Each echo of his footsteps makes me flinch. <laughs> Leave me the fuck alone. I'm busy. If you can't deal with it yourself, then get the fuck out of here. Get it? I'm not gonna tell you again. I ain't got time for this bullshit. He slams the door in the man's face and turns back to me. Uh. Right, sorry. I stare at him in shock. There's no doubt about it. He can be as kind as he likes to me, but he certainly knows when to let his temper flare. What were we talking about? Yeah, uh, my job. Low stakes tables. Yeah. Right, let's get you set up with a bed. Can't have you sleeping in an alley if you're working for me. Can I just sleep in my apartment? Do I have to sleep here? <laughs> That's nice of him, but sleeping out in the cold will do something awful to a person. We'd probably find you dead in two days. Again, I, I have an apartment. Can I just do that? <laughs> Can't pay us back if you're dead, right? There it is. My gaze flicks back to the door and I bite my lip. I shouldn't get comfortable around a guy like this. You're gonna start on the floor tomorrow night. Hey, Cupcake. Don't run off. I stare at Sergio for a moment, hoping my disbelief is conveyed in a look. Gotcha. Cool it, Cupcake. If you try to split, you won't get very far. We got ways of finding you. Get it? But no, he's so nice and kind. And just so gentle. <laughs> yeah, I get it.
With that, Sergio stands, walks over to the door, and sticks his head out. He mumbles to someone in the hallway before returning to the bar to refill his drink. He sips on his drink and doesn't say anything for several minutes. There is a knock on the door. Come on in. Let's go. I'm here. Yeah. Good. Can you take Cupcake to one of the free rooms? They'll be staying with us. Yes. Got it. There should be some available on the seventh floor. Thanks. That'll do just fine. See you later, Cupcake. Rest up for a big day tomorrow. Okay. Ira escorts me to my room, wasting no time to pass over a key and point to the public bath down the hall. Hmm. If you need anything in particular, we can make arrangements to provide necessities. A toothbrush, laundry detergent, etc. As long as you don't ask for something absurd, we should be able to find it. I won't. Of course not. <laughs> Good. Whoa. Her smile is so pretty. I feel like I know who our character will try to romance. <laughs> we'll have some of your things brought in the next few days. The rest of your clothes and such. Right. Thanks. Although I don't trust her entirely, after exposure to Sergio's ire, it's nice to see someone with an even temper. Or the appearance of an even temper. I'll get settled in then. What about tomorrow night? Where should I go? Someone will come to fetch you. Stay here where they can find you or else they'll think you ran off. Please. Try to wear something nice for work. I don't have anything nice. That's the whole, that's the whole point. That's the whole thing I've been trying to tell people. <laughs> I expect you'll be trained before being left on your own. If you have questions, come find either me or Sergio. Right, thanks. Ira nods once and then exits. For the first hour or two of my shift, I'm stuck beside a man dealing poker hands and watching how to conduct the table. It's easy enough to watch and I hope that I remember everything I'm supposed to do before dealing a hand. Burn the card before you deal. Can't forget that rule. Who am I kidding? I'm going to forget. <laughs> yeah. I'm not trusted well enough to go off on my own, so if I have to use the restroom or want to venture off, I'm accompanied by a shadow. Unfortunately, that shadow is... Mateo. <laughs> hey, hey, Cece. Did you have a good sleep? What? What do you want? That wasn't very nice. Oh, that's mean. I only wanted to know how your day is going. Well, better than yesterday when you punched me in the gut. I'm just trying to get through the night and learn what I can. Nice. Impressive. You have ambition, Cece. Okay. It's not like I want to be here. I'm just trying to pay back my debt. I can go home after that, right? What? That pigsty? Why would you want to go there? That's my house. That's not nice. That's not nice. That's my house, you know? Mateo frowns at this. It's apparent he didn't realize that I enjoyed living in my own house. Still, he looks upset at what I've said. Sorry, I'm just not used to living here. Don't apologize, he was being a dick. Um... But it's fun, isn't it? Yeah, right. Watching people drink and throw their money away? I'll pass. Hey, hey! Loosen up a bit. We always have a good time. Yep. I do, for one. Right. I change the subject, hoping that Mateo will cut the conversation short. I'm supposed to be learning to deal cards, not having a chat. From what I saw yesterday, I don't want to make Sergio angry. Besides, I'm still sore from Mateo's punches, both physically and emotionally. How long before I start dealing? It'll be over soon. Maybe a few more nights. We have to be sure that you can do a good job. I'll be watching you to make sure you don't split. I figured that. <laughs> You're not gonna split, are you? No. You promise? Nope. <laughs> a frown sets into my features. What? Come on, don't be so sour. You'll get wrinkles. It takes more muscles to frown than to smile. Oh, I know. You're still mad about what I did yesterday. That's it, isn't it? Let's start over. I'll go first. Hi, I'm Mateo. Nice to meet you. Can I punch you in the stomach now? 
feel like that would make me feel a lot better. <laughs> Fuck off, Mateo. I'm playing with you. I don't want to play this game. I'm just trying to get through the day. Sorry. Aw, you're no fun. Oh, do you want a formal apology? I'll give you a good one. Get ready to be amazed and forgive me. Um. Sorry about everything that happened back at your apartment. I was just following orders, you know? But you weren't, though, because you weren't supposed to kidnap me. I guess. I really didn't mean to hurt you. You believe me, right? No. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, I get it. <laughs> Yay, we're friends again. Yeah. Anyway. Mateo takes my hand and tugs on it. Hey, let's move to another table. No, I'm supposed to be at this table. You're going to get me in trouble. But I haven't really mastered this yet. <laughs> It'll be fine. Aren't you bored? I'm bored. Not really. More importantly, shouldn't you leave me alone so I can focus? Mateo pulls me past the blackjack tables. Apathy is written plainly on my face, but Mateo is beside himself with glee. Well, since he's watching me, I might as well go along with him. I've never met someone this bubbly. What's he got to be so happy about? Hey, Cece, do you drink? There's a bar if you want something to drink. I thought we were going to another table. Nah, I'm bored. We're not supposed to drink on the job, but I'll look the other way for you. Nice of me, huh? No, I'm not. Mm -mm, not, because you're going to get me in trouble with the guy who's in charge. And I'm not trying to get shot in the face in an alley. Yeah, but I think I'll follow the rules. <laughs> oh, you're smart. Did you think I was trying to test you? Don't worry, you can relax around me. It's so trustworthy. Um, I'll try. It's the boss, right? He's pretty scary. I don't know. I don't know what I think of him. I haven't really spent enough time with him. What? I see, I see. But you know, I've been here for years and years. He's not a nice guy, I'm telling you. What kind of mischief should we get into? None! I'm trying to learn these games. I don't think that's... This won't do. Mateo, Cece, you're supposed to be by the poker tables. <laughs> Uh-oh! The law has come to get us. Don't say that! Is there a problem here? Um... No problem! Are you gonna punish us for being naughty? No. I don't have time for nonsense like that. You should know better than to fool around. Let's go. Get back to work. Yes, ma'am. Right. See ya! <laughs> that was close, huh? Um... Ira isn't very fond of me. Sorry for getting you in trouble. Maybe you should scoot off for the night. I know I'm supposed to watch you, but you must be tired. It's hard to work at night. It is. My body isn't ready for the change. Does that mean I'm free to go? I guess. Free to go back to your room? But don't run off. I'll be in big trouble if you do. You don't want to get me in trouble, do you? Right. About that. Sergio said you had ways of finding me, but wasn't specific. Oh, you know, we have a security system in case people get ideas. Sometimes people get mad at the casino and try to settle a score. They place their house as a bet, and when they lose the hand, then they really lose it. <laughs> know what I mean? No, I've never bet my house before. <laughs> oh, I see. That makes sense. Yep. We have a good security staff to make sure that no one does anything dumb. So even if I had the opportunity, I'd be caught eventually. I guess it's best just to stay put. Thanks. I'll go on back then. Night. Sleep tight. I say my goodbye and make my way back to my apartment. Idiot! Are you serious, Mateo? Again? Can't you do anything right? I jump as Sergio's voice cuts through the casino room, almost spilling the deck of cards in my hand. The patrons of the casino are similarly confused, watching as Sergio crosses the room. He stomps in rage with every step. Beside me, Mateo quivers. I watch as a drop of sweat rolls down Mateo's forehead. He looks so distraught, but if I try to intervene? Mateo warned me about this, didn't he? I can see why he'd be so terrified of Sergio. The man hasn't said a kind word to him since I've been here. Sorry, boss. I didn't mean it. Like I believe that, dipshit. Get your ass over here. Hey. 
Really? I'm telling the truth. Sergio's jaw sets in a hard line. The other patrons of the casino gawk at the pair. Dinner and a show. But I can't do anything. It's really not my place. Oi! You can't tell me that you don't notice if some asshole walks out of here with five th Ira holds her hand out to stop Sergio mid-sentence. Excuse me. Perhaps we should have this discussion in private. <laughs> yeah, fine. Mateo glances back at me and shrugs, his eyes wide and fearful. I know the feeling. I'm less afraid than I am unsure. I don't know Sergio well enough to predict how this will end, and I've seen him snap at underlings. Of course, he was always kind to me. Perhaps I should say something? No, 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 no. Rather than sitting back, I move forward. My voice is low. Don't say anything. No, be quiet. Did something happen? Not your fucking business. Learn the poker table. Damn it. Mm. This isn't any of your business. Go back to work. It's what I said. What? Cece, you didn't see anything happen either, did you? His voice cracks with desperation and his eyes swivel between Sergio and myself. He wants me to stick up for him. I won't gain anything from it, but everyone's staring. It's probably best that we calm down. I didn't see anything. Although Mateo beat and kidnapped me, I suppose it would only be mean-spirited to throw him under the bus. I owe this man nothing. This is the Mafia. This is not the time to be nice. Although I'm not happy about what happened, I'm not a complete asshole. Yep. See? They were distracted, too. <sighs> Shut up, shithead. Both of you are coming with me. Come on, Ira. Drag him if you have to. See? Should just kept your goddamn mouth shut. You're not part of this until you made yourself a part of it. Ira grabs my arm and pulls me out of the room along with Mateo. That wasn't very nice. Ouch, indeed. You don't have to grab so hot. Don't say that. She drags me into the brightly lit lounge where I first met Sergio. It strikes me that the room is frighteningly sterile, as if it's been scrubbed clean each time someone enters the room. Scrubbed clean of what? <laughs> I want some fucking answers, and I want them right now. Huh? Mateo, how the fuck did you let some asshole out of the casino carrying that much cash? You got shit stuffed in your eyes? His insults are so colorful. <laughs> I was watching Cece since you told me to train them. And that makes you fucking blind? Distracted. This won't do. I told the both of you to get to work. Idiot! We ain't got the manpower to be distracted. Fucking idiot, I can't believe you. And you, Cece, what were you thinking? I was thinking the man that kidnapped me told me to walk over here, so I'm gonna walk over here. I didn't do anything. It's not my fault some asshole stole from you. Excuse me. As one of our employees, it is indeed your fault. You should have been more vigilant at the tables. Hmm. You've put us in a bad position. Well, sorry. <laughs> Both of you should have been watching better. I can't believe this. Fuck! He stomps over to the bar and pours himself a drink. Mateo slides beside me and we stand in uncomfortable solidarity. Um... Sorry, Cece. His voice is barely above a whisper. Didn't mean to get you in trouble with the boss. But you did. You didn't mean to hurt me, but you did. You didn't mean to kidnap me, but you did. It's fine, you didn't do anything, except take me away from the table and ask me if I wanted to drink and then let me out for the night early. So you kind of did something. In fact, the more I speak with Mateo, the more I realize that Sergio likely has it in for the guy. Always nitpicking his every move. I feel bad for him. I don't. <sighs> Anything else the two of you want to admit to? Giving out free drinks? Maybe Mateo's been letting people's debts slide by? Huh? Is that why he took you instead of anything valuable? Excuse me, it's not like I asked to go with him. I didn't ask to work in the casino either. I didn't have a choice. You were slacking and someone's gonna pay. Mateo and I exchange a look. I'm not eager for punishment, but I won't throw him under the bus. Apparently, he feels similarly because neither of us make a sound. Hey! Hey! Maybe we should both get back to work. No. It's too late for that. No, it isn't! Idiot! Damn it, Mateo! 
He grits his teeth and curls his hand into a fist, wildly swinging it at Mateo. It makes contact with his gut, and Mateo doubles over. Oh, it's not so nice, is it? I recoil at the punch. I knew the guy had a temper, but to hit Mateo... My eyes flash back at Sergio, but his anger seems to have subsided. He glares at Mateo and rubs his knuckles. For a sick moment, I'm happy it wasn't me. But then, it doesn't seem so depraved after all. Mateo beat me, and now he's getting it back. I won't rejoice in his pain, but better him than me. Agreed. <laughs> Want some more? Um, no thanks. He tries to smile, but this only enrages Sergio further. Are you fucking kidding me, Mateo? Do you think this is a joke? His fist descends on Mateo once more. Only Sergio grabs Mateo's hair to hold him upright before punching. Don't you ever let another asshole steal from us, understand? If you do, I'll find a way to take care of you. Mateo nods and Sergio releases his hair. <laughs> Ira, get him out of here. Leave Cupcake. We're gonna have a chat. Yes. I didn't do anything. <laughs> Ira nods and grabs Mateo by the arm before pulling him out the door. I'm left with Sergio, unsure if he'll turn violent once more. Suspicious, my eyes follow his every move. Better to be vigilant than to get my ass kicked. <sighs> Can't believe this. And you got yourself caught up in this shit? Damn, Cupcake. I didn't do it on purpose. You and Mateo are supposed to be watching the floor. How'd that thieving asshole get past you? <laughs> Must be an idiot or some shit. It's my first day! I thought I was just doing tables! It's one table, one singular table. Excuse me? I'm fucking new to this. You can't expect me not to make mistakes. Besides, you should be mad at the bouncers. Mateo and I are busy watching our tables. I don't handle payouts. Oy. Quit yelling at me. Excuse me? I'm calling you out on your bullshit. Calm it down a little. <laughs> what, are you gonna hit me too? Huh? Why would I do that? I was teaching Mateo a lesson. I don't get the same lesson? Uh... Well, like you said, you're new. Coward. Why am I pushing this man's buttons? Like, I love it, but like, why? <laughs> Oi. You want me to hit you? Sure, but unlike Mateo, I'll hit back. What? You can't say that to me. I'll bark, no bite. Why does Mateo cower whenever Sergio starts yelling? Because he hits Mateo. I just did. What are you gonna do about it? Huh? I'll <laughs> let you off with a warning. Not a good practice if you want someone to be afraid of you. That's not what I want. Oy. There are other ways to get you to listen. Now quit interrupting me. Come on. I gotta on. show you what we're about. Get your attention. Shit like that. You can respect that, right? Not really. Calm and practice leadership would be more effective. I guess. Yeah. You still gotta learn what we're about. I'll make it crystal clear real soon. Sergio's opportunity to make more demonstrations comes in only a few short days. I awaken to a knock at my door. Before I can guess who it is, however, the door opens and Mateo skips in. Hey, hey! Cece, you up? We gotta go. He's looking a lot better after that beating. I'm... Give me a second, I just woke up. No, no, we have to hurry. Yep. The boss wants you to come out today. Why? I have work tonight. Yeah, but he wants to take you out for a debt collection. Maybe he wants to show you what'll happen if you run. <laughs> just kidding. Maybe he's right. I'm not equipped to go out for a fight. What good do they think I'll be? Nevertheless, I get up and dress quickly. Mateo brings me down to the parking garage, where several black vans and a sedan are waiting. One of the windows in the back of the sedan rolls down, and Sergio peeks his head out. I res in the driver's seat, loading her gun. Hey, Cupcake. You ready yet? You sleep like the damn dead. you wake me up so why'd you try to wake the dead huh because we've got shit to do come on I ain't got all day you know get in the car I'm pushed into the back of the car I expect Mateo to slide in beside me but he closes the door 
I turn my head back and watch him enter one of the other cars. <laughs> what, you want to ride with Mateo? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me staying back in my room? We gotta keep an eye on you. Yeah, I know. You don't have to drag me out of bed to do that. I settle down in the seat. What's up? How's it going, Cupcake? You sleep well? Oh, so good. Yeah, the room is nice, thank you. Huh? What, did you think we'd throw you in some shitty cell or something? Even if you owe us money, I'm not gonna treat you like total shit. That's not what I meant. It's strange. I want to be irritated with this man, but he's been kind to me. It would be more convenient for my temper if he would just be a little nasty. Not that I want him to be mean. It's just that I expected him to rub my face in the dirt and have me sell my body for cash. Maybe that's the catch. He's just biding his time. Uh... Can you do me a favor? Sure. Turn around for a sec. No, I don't like that. Mm -mm. What? No, oh, I. I don't want you to touch me like that. What? what? Just do it. I'm not going to do anything weird. You expect me to believe that? Huh? Why not? Because it's a weird request to make so suddenly. What are you thinking? Guess so. Guess you'll have to find out. It's not comforting. I do as he asks and flinch as I feel metal secure around my wrists. Wait, handcuffs? What are these for? What the hell are you doing? You said you weren't going to do anything weird. Cool it. Can't have you running away if shit gets ugly. Huh? Ugly? Yeah. You know, gunfire, chaos, shit like that. Oh, I thought you were going to... Huh? Gonna what? Never mind. Sergio rolls his eyes and sits back in the chair. He pulls out a cigarette and cracks the window. <laughs> Are you stupid or something? Obviously. Too stupid to repay my debt. Just let me go. Just clear it. Oh well, you, we'll take the loss. <laughs> you're stupid. I'm not stupid, you're the one who's stupid. What, what the hell kind of five-year-old line is that, dumbass? <laughs> you would know only a dumbass puts someone in cuffs when there might be a fight. Do you want me to get shot? How am I supposed to defend myself? Boy, sh shut up, you're not gonna get shot. You're not even gonna get out of the car. I'm protecting you. You'll be safe in the car. Then what's the point of the handcuffs? To keep you from doing something stupid. Like getting out in the line of fire? You won't need to. You aren't gonna get shot. I frown, but don't push the subject any longer. Sergio leans up and pats the back of Iris' seat. Enough chit-chat. Let's go. She starts the car and we begin driving. I look out the window, surveying the streets. We're in an unfamiliar part of town, but I can see from the signs on the buildings that we aren't in a particularly savory area of the city. We pull up to an old apartment building. Not the same place I used to live, but it's definitely a rundown place in need of work. Not very unlike the building I used to live in. <sighs> Stay here, don't move, and keep quiet. He closes the door and the car locks. The vans behind us empty into the building. I wait for several minutes, thinking all is going well, until... Gunshots ring through the apartment. I cower down in my seat, trying to hide. What's happening? What should I do? I chew on my bottom lip, counting the seconds. Sergio returns to the car, slightly sweaty. Ira trails behind him, carrying a black duffel bag. She throws it into the trunk and returns to the driver's seat. When the car door opens, I peek up from the floorboard. Huh? The hell are you doing? I heard shots, so I tried to hide. <sighs> Sit up. No one's gonna shoot you. It's all settled. I try to wiggle myself back into the seat, but it's difficult when my hands are restrained. Sergio reaches over and pulls me up by the arms. Hey, Cupcake. You good? Yeah, thanks. Might be nice to have my hands untied. Why were there gunshots? Yeah. Warning shots. No one's hurt or anything like that. Oh, I thought maybe... <laughs> worried about me? <laughs> no. And the people in the building. Um, sure. So can you take off the handcuffs? Nah. Not yet. Sit tight, we'll get back soon. What, do you have some bondage kink? What? 
No! Where'd you get that from? A hunch. From where? It's a secret. <laughs> Fine. Not like I care. What's in the bag? Why did you have to fire your gun? Huh? Why you wanna know? No reason. I just wanted to know what happened. <laughs> it's a secret. Fine. You know, it's really not your concern. Guess not, but if I'm working for you and you drag me out for something like this, don't you think I should know what it's about? Oi! Are you actually mad at me? Come on, Cupcake, just relax. I brought you along to show you what we're about. That means business. Got it? Uh... I'll take off your handcuffs as a gesture of good faith. Mistake. <laughs> Big mistake. Huge. Last time I'll ask, you gonna try something? No. No, no, of course not. Good. No. Thanks. Good. Ira starts the car and we drive in silence. We're a few blocks from the casino when she clears her throat. Sergio. Huh? I'm sorry. Some of the others were asking when you were gonna do something about Luke. <laughs> I'll get to it, all right? Give me some time. Yes. I understand, but the others feel like you're being too... All right, yeah. I got it. We'll talk later. I suppose you were right. I settle into bed for the evening. Since it was a quiet night, Sergio allowed me to go back to my room after the raid. Maybe he figured I was a bit upset from the day's events, or too busy to assign anyone to guard me in the casino. Either way, I'm happy to be warm in bed. <laughs> Wake up. Cece, wake up. I rub the sleep from my eyes and sit up. Mateo is standing beside my bed, staring down at me. Too close. Back up a couple steps. What are you doing in here? Um... I'm here to help you. What? That's you can't stay here, Cece. It's dangerous. Don't you think so? Well, maybe, but we can't just leave. What about the building's security? I thought... This is so sudden. How did you get in here? And what's going on? It'll be over soon. I'll take care of everything. Don't worry. Are you coming with me or not? No. Uh-uh. Nope. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Nope. Nope. Mm -mm. No, Mateo. I have to stay, and I don't trust you at all. Don't trust you even a little bit. Mm -mm. Not happening. I don't know what will happen. No. I'm staying here. I'm sorry. I'm afraid. Mateo stares at me for a long time, seemingly heartbroken. What? I told you. It's really dangerous here. I thought... I just wanted... I thought we could be friends. I wanted to help you. Fuck off. Go... off into the distance and... get your kneecaps broken all by yourself. I know. I'm sorry. He backs away from the bed. You must think I'm stupid. I see. Then, it's goodbye. Okay, goodbye. He rushes out of the room and nearly slams the door behind him. If Mateo could enter my room so easily... My mind races with discomfort about my own security. Just what is he so anxious about? I don't think much on this because sleepiness lulls me back down to the bed. Even if I feel unsafe, it's better to stay here. I have no idea what might happen if I leave. Exactly. Once again, I awaken to the sound of someone beating on my door. I rub my eyes and make my way to the door. Just as I open it, I'm greeted with a storm of angry shouts. <laughs> fuck! Fuck! Where's that little piece of shit? Sergio pushes past me and looks around the room. Where is he? I know he was here. Where the fuck did he go? Ooh! Idiot! That little shit! That little fucker! That's not really a helpful explanation. <laughs> I don't know. Who is it? Damn. What the fuck? What the fuck? He grabs hold of my shoulders, shaking in anger. I know he was here. Where is he? Never mind. You're coming with me. Move your ass. I stayed. Ira restrains my arms and pulls me out into the hall, then into the elevator. Sergio files in, fuming. In his rage, he steps on my foot. Rude. Watch it. Uh... Shit. Fuck. He kicks us out of the elevator in frustration. What is...
is going on? I'm gonna pretend like I don't know that Mateo left in the middle of the night. What's happening? We aren't going to hurt you. Just come with us. Why? That isn't your business. You'll see in a moment. Be patient. Apparently, Sergio is too irritated and doesn't respond. Hmm. Mateo went missing this morning. At the mention of this name, Sergio's expression tightens. I guess he made it out of here. I thought you guys might have caught him. Did he get out? Huh? What the fuck? You knew about it the whole time? Uh, yeah. I saw him right before he left. What was I supposed to do? Beat him up? I already tried that when he came to repossess my stuff. Didn't work very well, did it? I figured security would catch up to him. Well, they didn't. Fuck! Isn't Sergio a little too worked up over this? It didn't seem like he was friendly with Mateo. Then again, I guess Mateo could go to the cops, and that would be bad. We step off the elevator into a hallway. Ira takes hold of my arm. Sergio strides forward and unlocks a door. I'm dragged inside. This won't do. Please, don't make a fuss. We just want to ask a few questions. Fine. Sergio remains silent as we step inside. He throws his keys onto the kitchen counter. I glance around the room, wondering if this could be his apartment. Ira leads me over to the sitting area and pushes me down on the couch. Sergio sits down across from me, tense and dangerous. Huh? He went into your room last night. What did he want? Um... Hurry up. I'm pissed, so just cooperate. He wanted me to leave. Fine. He wanted me to leave with him. Obviously, I'm still here, so you can see how that turned out. Oi. The hell? Why do you want you to come with him? I don't know. He said it was dangerous or something. Dangerous. Well, it's not like we're a fucking church praying to the Lord. <laughs> but I'm not gonna... <laughs> Never mind. He didn't hurt me. Yeah. At least there's that. Sergio stands from his chair in a huff. You know where he went? No, he didn't tell me anything. I didn't have any idea who was going to run. <sighs> I can't believe I'm going through this shit again. Are we getting backstory? Again? Sergio. It's not as bad as last time. As far as I checked, no one's missing besides Mateo. <sighs> Small favors, right? Shit. Ira, go do some damage control. I don't want to make this a big stink. Not like last time. Make sure we aren't missing anything important. And double check on... Mushin. See if it's related. Yes. Will do. She exits, leaving me with Sergio. Who's Lucian? I think they were arguing about him before in the car, but I can't be sure. Sergio is really angry. Maybe something like this happened with that Lucian guy. What, what, are you gonna, what are you gonna do? I don't know. Hell if I know. I need a damn drink. He gets up and makes his way to the kitchen to pour himself a glass of whiskey. You thirsty? Uh, sure. Maybe he'll make me his mob wife and I'll be super rich and do whatever I want. Sure, why not? Yeah. Now that's more like it, Cupcake. He pours a second glass and hands it to me. So anyway, damn, what a mess. I answered all of your questions. Can I leave now? No. Right now I don't want you back in that room. Mateo was in charge of watching you to be sure you paid the debt, but... The way things have been going, you're gonna stay here with me. The fuck does that mean? Here? As in, your apartment? Guess so. Well, yeah. No. 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 <laughs> oh. Look, yeah. it's not like I fucking want you to. A man's gotta have his privacy. He says that, but he's not making any eye contact. Is he embarrassed? Why can't I just stay with Ira? Why does it have to be here? Like, you're a boss. You're busy and important, right? Like, it's a little suspicious. <laughs> it's a safety measure, see? For me? Yeah. Sure. We want our investment back so you can't run off. Of course it's about the money. We sit in silence. I'm not happy that I'll be staying here, but what choice do I have? It's like I'm a dog who has to be chained down. Uh... 
I don't have much of a guest room. Where am I gonna sleep? The floor? Oi! Shit, Cupcake, come on, I'm not that kind of... Sorry. The couch is fine for now. I'll find you a bed. And it's just me here, so I won't be too bad. See, that's... Do I, do I go ahead and lean into the mob wife route? And just be like, if I'm the mob wife, I don't worry about any of this shit. And I can just pretend like I don't know, and collect my money, and do rich girl shit. <laughs> oh, lack of privacy, that sounds pretty cool. Wow, the lack of privacy sounds great. You need your space, but never mind me, right? I don't know what kind of guy you are. Maybe you're a pervert. Oh, I meant it sarcastically. I'm still okay with the choice I made. <laughs> you think I'm gonna spy on you in the shower? I don't know. He bites his lip. <laughs> Shit, Cupcake, I'm doing my best. For the, the best for who, though? Well, you could, I don't know, let me go back to my room? Nah. Hell no, I told you I don't want you running off. I guess it won't help to argue with him. He has that stupid, irritating look on his face telling me not to push it. Anyway, get settled while you're here. Settled? Where? How? Am I gonna dump my shit on top of your shit? <laughs> is this guy for real? He can't treat me like this. I don't give a shit who he is. <sighs> it's not for forever, so cool it. Am I going back to work in the casino tonight? Who's gonna tag along and let me back into the apartment? Nah. You're not going back to work. So what do you want me to do? Sit around all day? I owe you money, and you won't let me work and you won't let me leave. What, you want me to sit in your house like a trophy? <laughs> I don't care what you do. Oh, you don't? Okay, great, I'll watch around all day in my underwear and eat chips. <laughs> that sounds great, honestly. <laughs> this guy isn't doing anything to me. What the fuck, he's all bark and no bite. What? Don't. What the hell, Cupcake? You just... <sighs> Make yourself useful, I don't know. I'll get my underwear ironed. <laughs> Thanks for being specific. I'll get my underwear ironed for the day. I can play this game, asshole. Sergio raises an eyebrow. Oh, you know who I am, right? You remember? Yep, you're some kind of dumbass. That's what I told you yesterday. Huh? Don't get carried away, Cupcake. Same to you, dumbass. I'm very bold. I am very, very bold for somebody in this position. <laughs> huh? You want to make me real mad? Eh, sure. Why not? Sure. Might be fun to watch. <gasps> you want to die, Cupcake? What kind of weapon will you use? <laughs> My fists. I'll believe it when I see it. Huh? I'm going to punch you for real. What was that? I think a mosquito bit me. <laughs> Fuck you. Sure. I think I will. Can you leave the room to give me some privacy? Uh, you... I... I win. I'll get you next time. Give me that wedding ring. So I can be mob wife. <laughs> sure you will. I'll be waiting, roomie. I make my way back down to my room and begin haphazardly throwing items into a bag. As I finish emptying my drawers, there's a knock on the door, and Ira enters. Excuse me. Can I have a word? Sure. Always got time for you. Uh, sure. Is something wrong? No. Hmm. I wanted to know what Sergio said to you. Not much. I'm going to live with him for now. I was just going to get my things. Yes. He filled me in on that much. Did he say anything about Mateo? No, not really. He was pretty mad about the whole thing, as you saw. Yes. Hmm. Cece, what are your feelings towards Sergio? He's okay, I guess. A tad grumpy. Why do you ask? Hmm. I shouldn't say this to you, but I will anyway. Treat him gently. Is something wrong? Is he sick? No. It isn't my information to share. Please. If you start to notice, her voice trails off. Be more careful. Sergio has been through a difficult time in the past year or so. 
Since you will be living with him, I want to warn you. Don't play with him. Don't give him any false hopes. He will feed off your attention and crave more of it. He sometimes confuses his feelings and isn't sure what he wants. He is especially unsteady in matters of the heart. Are any of us sure what we want? Don't say that. It's more than that. You're being annoyingly cryptic, so can you just say what you want to say? <laughs> I'm so blunt. Unfortunately, no. I'm sorry. I won't purposefully insert myself in your business again. Well, if your aim was to help me, you've only confused me more. Thank you for your help. My apologies. I didn't mean to say unnecessary things. I'll help you carry your things back to Sergio's apartment. I wake the next morning hungry and lethargic. Sergio's couch was comfortable, but moving rooms and switching my sleep time has messed with my body's rhythm. I look around the room. It's quite late in the morning, and I don't see any activity in the house. I guess Sergio likes to sleep in. I'm sure he won't mind if I borrow the kitchen for a bit. Sergio's refrigerator is stocked with alcohol, but not many items suitable for meals. I check the freezer and find pints of ice cream. Not just a single pint, but stacks and stacks of them crammed into the shelves. Okay. What the hell? How is this guy alive? There's nothing to eat in here. Besides the ice cream, there's barely enough food for one person, let alone both of us. I'll make an omelet. There's enough in here for that much, at least. I'm beating the eggs when Sergio walks in. Hey, cupcake. Hello. Morning. He sits down at the table, rubbing his eyes and looking a little childish. I smile, and a laugh escapes. Huh? What? What's funny? Nothing much. Come on. Tell me. How about a knock-knock joke? You? I was thinking that you look like a kid just now. What? What the hell? His cheeks are flushed as he stutters a retort. Well, you do. Little kids rub their eyes like that when they wake up. I clear my throat and change the subject. Are you hungry? Huh? Hungry. Eat. Food in mouth. Do you want breakfast? I hold up the bowl of beaten eggs. I'm making an omelet. <laughs> I don't want any of your shitty food. Oh yeah, bitch? Just because you just want ice cream all day? Better than eating shitty ice cream. Is that the only thing you eat? Huh? Hell no. Sometimes I eat... You know. No, I don't know. <laughs> Never mind. Your fridge is empty, so... Drop it, will you? Hey, did you eat any of my ice cream? I did not. It's morning time. Come on. But you thought about it, didn't you? Maybe I did. I might have even stuck my finger into the carton and licked it. <gasps> you did it! Sergio stands and rushes over to the freezer, frantic. He opens the door and runs his hands over the cartons, checking if each is in place. Chocolate, strawberry swirl, vanilla... Yes, you're all here. My babies! My sweet creamies. I hate that. Yeah, see, I didn't touch any of your babies. Sergio's voice falls to a whisper, but I can still make out the words. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll hide you from the big meanie. And that big meanie would be me, the person graciously making breakfast for your useless ass? Uh... You weren't supposed to hear that. Obviously. Are you done whispering to your sweet creamies? Oh, I still hate it. Yeah. Don't talk about them like that. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. You're a big, tough guy. Just sit there and I'll be done in a bit. I pour out the omelet mixture and sprinkle cheese on top. It cooks quickly and soon I'm putting our breakfast on the table. Eat up. Thanks. You're welcome. He stabs the egg with a fork and shoves a large piece into his mouth. So much for good manners. I guess he likes it. I sit down across from him, smiling. I was thinking you shouldn't be stuck in here all day. I've got to do some business today, so you might as well come. Yeah, i got to learn the ropes if I'm going to be the mob wife. <laughs> you know, just so I can keep an eye on you. Right, because if I were going to run, I wouldn't have already done it. Why? Okay, Cupcake, very cute. Don't get smart. How can I be when you've already called me stupid? 
Uh... I didn't mean it like that. I know, Sergio, I'm just picking on you. I'll go with you. Well, you're not going yeah. with me, you're just going... I roll my eyes. Going, going with you, what's the difference? Uh... Maybe it's like a date. I'm in. Mob wife lifestyle, here I come. <laughs> what? You said it's business. Did you want to hold my hand on the way or some shit? Huh? Why would I want to do something idiotic and pointless like that? You're really bad at hiding your feelings, did you know that? Huh? So you already know that uh, I think you're cute? Oh my god, he thinks we're cute. My eyes widen and I freeze. Huh? Huh? Wait, so... You didn't know? Oh, shit! Um... I know now. Idiot! He stands up from the table and bolts back to his room. How do you become the leader of a large criminal syndicate? Oh, shit. I was just picking on him. Uh, this is awkward. I make my way over to his door and knock, but he won't answer. When I press my ear up to the wood, I can hear Sergio's whispering. <laughs> shit, I'm so dumb. What the fuck? I just said it right there. Holy shit. Oh, no. Setting myself up for that shit. Damn, fuck. I have to laugh. It's too adorable. I don't mind that he has those feelings, but I suppose it makes the living situation a tad strange. I'm gonna eat your ice cream. I guess now that I'm here alone, I can eat your ice cream. Huh? No! I got you to talk to me. I, um... They're shuffling behind the door. I press my ear closer to the wood. I knock again and call for him. Sergio, shouldn't we get ready to go? Uh... Yeah, Cupcake, I'm just taking a piss. <laughs> His voice falls once more. Taking a piss? Who the hell says that shit? I suppose I should try to put him at ease somehow. He won't come out if he's so embarrassed. What should I do? I thought he looked childish earlier, but this? Sergio, it's fine if you have those feelings for me. We're adults, so let's get over it. Do you hear me in there? Yeah. Okay, come on out. You can't hide away forever. We have shit to do, right? Yeah, you're right. Give me a few minutes. Uh, I'll be out soon. His voice drops again. Game face. Gotta put on the game face. Get it together. Damn. Okay, we're gonna have to end it there. I'm feeling pretty good about our chances of survival for this. <laughs> Which is funny because a lot of the endings spell death for our character, so... I think I'm just getting my hopes up. Which is weird. I don't typically get my hopes up, but I have my hopes up. I think I can make it. I can be a mob wife. I could do it. I could do it. Yeah. I'll just have to get my hair real big. Like a bouffant. I have to grow my hair out again and then get a bouffant. Doable. Make sure you pay your rent on time. I'll see you later. I'm bored now. I'm bored now. I'm bored now. I don't want to start a fight cuz I'm bored now. Don't want you to spend the night cuz I'm bored now. I already know I'm right cuz I'm bored.